In this video, how to use Microsoft 365 Scheduling Assistant so that you can more efficiently organize meetings with people that you need to meet with, saving yourself and them a lot of time. So if that's something that you're interested, stick around because you're about to learn how to do it. So hey, I'm Dr. Craig Ingstrom, but you can just call me Craig because we're now social acquaintances. And just remember that social acquaintances, they like, they share, and they subscribe. So in this video, I want to give you the use case that I know many of you are probably interested in, and that is you work at a large organization like I do at Southern Illinois University Carbondale, where I teach business communication, or you might run your own consulting firm as I do with Communication at Work LLC, or you are a small business or any kind of enterprise, but you have to schedule a lot of meetings with a lot of different people. It's really important that you're able to do this because if you think of an example of where, let's say a meeting with 10 people and in that group, let's say the average salary and benefits for those folks is $60 per hour. And let's say that you ask them to fill out a poll to give their availability so you can schedule a meeting. Well, if it takes them 15 minutes to look at their calendars and then go to a poll, fill it out, the spent time on productivity and cost for that would be $150. Now that might not sound like a lot, but let's say that you have a thousand employees and those thousand at least one time per month do that kind of activity. Well, now you're talking about $15,000 in lost productivity, just scheduling a meeting. So thankfully Microsoft has your back with this product called Scheduling Assistant. So let's go ahead and talk about how to set up a meeting using Scheduling Assistant. So I am currently in the Office 365 application for the web. I will show you at the end of the video very quickly how you can use the desktop client to use Scheduling Assistant. So let's say that you need to schedule a meeting and you want to use Scheduling Assistant. All you're going to do is go to your calendar, click on New Event, type in whatever the subject of the meeting is going to be, and then right here, click Scheduling Assistant. What you can then do is add required or optional attendees. You can even add the room and do all of the sort of things that you would need to already get that meeting set up. So let's say, for example, that I want to invite two of my colleagues. And obviously, I'm blocking out their names to protect the innocent here. But you can see that on this particular day, if I was wanting to set up a meeting within regular office hours, we are not available. So let's say, for example, then I want to check out Monday, see if there's any time available. And I know that for my schedule that I have some flexibility here, even though it's blocked off, I could always make some changes. So what I might do then is because we all have sort of this available block here is propose a meeting on Monday between 11 and 3 p.m. And of course, if you have 10 or more people, it might get a little harder to schedule, but you can see what that looks like. Once you sort of come up with the time, I can just sort of drag this. And let's say that I wanna propose this meeting time. I'm just using the drag icons here. I'm gonna click done. It's going to add them to the event. I can fill out the rest of the details that I want to fill in, add some details, and then click send, and it's going to invite them to the meeting. Now, the reason I'm producing this video is I just received an email from a colleague that is essentially asking for what I was just talking about. I will send a poll to see what time we might be able to meet in the next two weeks or so. This is not a criticism of this individual. In fact, it's just most of us don't know that this tool of scheduling assistant is available to us. So I'm producing this video partly to help them out. Again, not a criticism. And once we have this tool, it might work more effectively. So rather than sending out the poll, what this individual could do or someone on the team, and I would do this, but I don't want to look like a pompous jerk, is just click the icon here. So if someone's proposing a meeting, what you can do from inside the email is click on this little icon. It'll open up your calendar and you will see that all of the individual's names are in the email thread already to go. So what day might we propose to meet? Well, you'll click on scheduling assistant and it'll pull up all of their calendars. As you can see, not a lot of availability here, but let's go ahead and jump, let's say, for example, to next Friday. And you can see that three to 4 p.m. might actually be a really good time to suggest a meeting time for these particular individuals. So let's say that I did wanna set that up. I would just drag this over and I would say, hey, looks like most of us are available based on our calendars. Let's go ahead and meet. Now, a couple of things and caveats to note here. Obviously, the organization needs a policy for everybody having their calendars shared and available and updated. If that is not the case, then you're going to run into a lot of trouble scheduling meetings. The last thing that I said that I would show you is how to set this up in a desktop client. So I'm in the desktop client 
from inside here, I can go to just click on say a meeting time that I want. And then right here in the tab, you'll see scheduling assistant. And then you could do the same thing like you're doing on the web. Okay, so hey, that's a really quick uh, breakdown of how to use scheduling assistant. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure that you like, share, subscribe so that others can see this video. Get the YouTube algorithm putting in front of other folks. Also, I do have a couple of other videos on calendaring that might be useful to you. I have one on Cortana scheduler and I have one on bookings. Link in the description. Until the next video, I hope you have a wonderful day.